In tonight's Northwest Grown, I have more from my visit to Oregon State University's Global Hemp Innovation Center. This time, we're getting a look at the work they're doing to breed hemp plants. Simply, when you look at it, yes, it's a looks like a pot plant because it is a pot plant. It's cannabis sativa. The plants inside this greenhouse are for research at Oregon State University. As Dr. Bob Zemetra, professor of plant breeding and genetics, explains, there's much more to these than the recreational use they're often known for. Pot plants, you produce THC. The plants here have to have a low THC. So instead of producing THC, they're producing the CBDs, but hemp plants can also be used not just for chemicals, but for fiber and even grain. His work includes looking for benefits that come from creating different breeds. You're just changing how the what the plant produces is a chemical. It's a mix of genes. So when you make a recombination or a cross, you're going to get a whole assortment of types of plants. One example would be making genetic adjustments for medicinal purposes. And if you're doing CBD, then you propagate the way these plants are. You get a specific chemical profile, it's great for treating some type of ailment. Then you maintain the plant so it stays genetically the same. Or another example. Look for specific traits and then enhance the gene pool so better fiber. So you uh, talked about hempcrete. Well, maybe there's something in the hemp, certain types of hemp fiber that works best. So then we talk with the people making that. Then we go back and try to see what we can do to improve the plants. Improving hemp plants and creating possibilities. So that's what's kind of exciting about it. And there are all, all those multiple uses that uh, from a breeding standpoint, we produce the plants and then give it to the people in the rest of the program to figure out if it has the traits that they want and then they'll feed back what traits they want and we'll try to put those together. Yeah, he really knows his stuff when it comes to breeding hemp plants, but not just hemp. Before this, he also spent several years teaching and researching wheat breeding. Well, Coin 60 